Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA hit us with a nice surprise just a couple hours ago by upgrading the Path to Glory and some of the ones to watch cards a little earlier than we expected to see. So those live upgrades are in the game. I want to take a look at those cards, how they're moving on the market, and how the rest of the market is absolutely flying to be completely honest a lot of card prices are just going up and up with path to glories with the cards that are in packs the current promo cards and just most cards in general are up in price with the content yesterday being a little bit lackluster and the end of the craziness of black friday kind of ending right we're headed out of the weekend into the week there really wasn't too much for cyber monday yesterday so the market is very healthy once again and we're seeing some prices rise which is nice especially in the fodder area as well with that year in review player pick that we had yesterday you're seeing a lot of that fodder moving in the store and again with the packs that are in the store kind of going away we have those big packs that are going away you know we've got the the season one review pack is still here, but a lot of this stuff is expiring today. If you take a look at the timer, a lot of this is going away today. So it's kind of the end of the Black Friday Madness. So that's what's going on in the game. Let's talk about it. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this tweet, which then told us about the upgrades that we got with the PTGs and the ones to watch nation win upgrades to the those cards. EA tweeted this at, I believe that is midnight UK time, which is, again, something that we need to know because that might mean that all of our upgrades are going to take place at midnight UK. And technically, for the Path to Glory cards that got upgraded, this was the first, like, legit potential day that they could have been upgraded. And EA was very fast with this. So hats off to EA, claps all around because, I mean, the fact that Portugal literally won, like, what, six to seven hours? Not even that much, like four hours before this tweet went live with the upgrades that's a big dub so fair play to ea for the fast upgrades the teams that are through to the knockout rounds got the ptg upgrades bernardo silva again you see that's a plus one overall you get a couple plus twos on individual stats with each plus one rating overall so bernardo silva got plus two defense plus two physical not the biggest upgrade there and kunku got plus two defense plus two physical plus ones all the way else around the card. Vinny got plus two passing and plus two physical. Nice upgrade there. Almost getting him to 80 passing. That would have been very nice to get him there. Griezmann got um, plus... What did he get? He got plus three physical. Really big upgrade for Griezmann's physical. Plus two defense. And then plus one all the way around. Paulinha with the pace and the shooting getting plus two. Nice upgrade there. So check your clubs. Oh, Bruno Guimaraes getting a plus two pace on his card. Making him look a lot more usable. And you can tell, right? This was the instant reaction to a lot of these cards getting upgraded. Was a price rise. Now, prices were already starting to rise into the nighttime. But these card prices have spiked since then. You can see Bruno Gameresh was about 290k. Spiked up right now where he is at 324,000 coins. As people are seeing these upgrades. And uh, it's again a bit. It's catching us off guard. Because it's a bit earlier than what we honestly expected to see. Specifically for these Path to Glories. Now for the ones to watch cards that got upgraded. These cards. I mean we were expecting to see those right. Some of these guys had won games. And had gotten um, kind of clinched their upgrade for a while. Mane goes to a 92. Um, um, no upgrade for Rudiger, but a plus one for Dybala, plus one for Delict. Sterling gets that another uh, extra upgrade. Their card looking even spicy as ever with that 70 physical. Di Maria with another upgrade. Richarlison looks very spicy with a plus two. 87 pace, 85 shooting now. So plus two is all around for him, plus three defense. Um, and then Gabriel Jesus looks nice. I wish they would have given him. More than one pace, though. I mean, plus two pace would have been nice, but he didn't get that. But he looks still pretty good. Anthony is one of the biggest cards that got such a massive upgrade. Plus two, plus one pace, plus three shooting, three passing, three physical, two defense, and one dribbling on this Anthony card. Uh, that looks that makes his card look a lot better from a face value, getting the 80 shooting and the passing there. Same thing with Chamani. Plus two pace, plus three shooting, uh, two physical, basically two all the way around, but with plus three shooting for him. So very nice upgrade there. A couple other ones like Bergwijn, Renato Sanchez getting a pretty nice upgrade as well. They gave him plus four shooting. He is almost Hullet Gang. They gave him plus three defense. He didn't get plus four though. So again, if you take a look at Footman and you see these guys' prices, the reaction to this is that they're all going up right all of these cards have legit gone up in price and it's it's even pretty honest to say that they've flown up in price since the upgrades have happened right anthony i remember yesterday when brazil was playing was at around two hundred and fifty thousand coins right now this card is two hundred and seventy 
264.4 k 266 right there sitting on the market at the moment so yes these cards are going to be very they're going to be moving a lot today right and um with the way the market is right now it actually i think is it bodes well for these cards to maintain a bit of a higher price even though there's a ton of people that have invested in these cards right if you take a look at some of these cards like this one right here on this chow many 12 owners and the current club zero games played that is a sure sign and basically um it tells you that somebody has invested in that card they have not played any games with it and they're listing that card on the market to sell it and to make profit so that is what you look for with kind of reading the market for a lot of people that have invested and a lot of the people that are listing these up, not everybody, but a lot of people that are listing these ones to watch cards up are people that are investing and they're taking their cash. So that's going to be the very interesting thing in terms of the market today that we're going to have to watch out for and keep an eye on is how many people are selling these cards as investments? Like look at this Bruno Guimaraes. They're like all people <laughs> that are selling this card as an investment. It's crazy as I cycle through these cards here. So there's going to be fluctuation with these cards today. I do think there is opportunity to make some coins on them though. Um, even after the upgrades, right? Some of these guys are down a little bit from where they were when they first got the upgrades and, and seeing where these prices are at now. So definitely keeping an eye on that. Um, and, and seeing where they go today. But again, like I said, with the whole rest of the market going up in price, that bodes well for those cards because if the market's feeling pretty healthy, there's not a lot of crashing that's going on and, and prices are starting to rise, people are going to feel more free probably to go and try out these brand new and upgraded cards. So I would definitely, definitely watch these guys today. Uh, think about the ones that have the biggest upgrades, right? You're going to want to watch Anthony, Chameni, Renato Sanchez, um, Gabriel Jesus, right? Gabriel Jesus, this is a weird one. He's 170K. That's what he was before the upgrade, right? Jesus was 189 last night, between 170 and 180. And he's, he's back down to 170, right? And if you take a look at the sales history, you can even see that he was selling at like 199, um, right after the upgrade happened. So kind of interesting to see some of these cards have like dipped back down after they shot back up. Could that mean a more potential rise today? We'll have to see. Just keep an eye on the market uh of these brand new upgraded players but in all honesty this is good to know especially especially for the path to glory cards because um i wonder if it means that ea are going to start upgrading these cards at the end of every like possible game week like of every match day if you know what i mean because yesterday was the last day that teams played their second game in the group stages right so today begins the third game for everybody else so we might be looking towards the end of this week um, again, for a potential time for upgrades on Path to Glory cards from everybody that clinches their spot, like hopefully the U.S. can do today. Christian Pulisic hopefully getting an upgrade if the U.S. can win against Iran. England, of course, I have a Kyle Walker uh, Path to Glory card on my transfer list that I bought for 700k. I think the way we're seeing it right now is it would make sense if EA were going to upgrade these cards, the next set of upgrades at the end of this week, at the last day uh, that a team is playing to get into the knockouts and when the groups are basically settled at that point So that's what I'd watch out for with those upgrades But guys, it feels so nice to finally get the live upgrades for these cards that we've been waiting on um, And just getting hyped for and seeing their prices go up a ton uh, is is nice too, especially if you invested. Like you know, if you bought a Bernardo Silva, even yesterday, Bernardo Silva was like 580k. Bernardo is now 650. I mean, we could take a look at countless cards that were upgraded that have exploded in price. And if you're happy with the profit on some of these, then feel free to take them. I think that this movement on the market is going to continue to push the uh, other path to glory cards up because people are like, oh my goodness, these upgrades. They're coming, right? They're on the doorstep. So a lot of these PTGs have gone up a lot. Romero's 151. Goretzka's almost back to a million coins. So if I were you, and if you have some coins liquid and you're looking around and saying, hey, where can I potentially get involved? You know, even De Jong and Koulibaly have gone up 20K in the past couple of hours from where they were. Just keep an eye on these cards and say, if any of these are like guaranteed to get an upgrade or, or basically guaranteed to get an upgrade, um, keep a close eye on them because I think there's still some potential market rise in a few of these that have some room to go up that are still maybe way down from where they were last week when everything crashed, right? Gomez was 600K, went down to 350. Yeah, now he's back to 415, but could he end up going to the high 400s again? Potentially, you know, that's the, the sort of thing that we're looking at with these live cards in this market. And I feel like we have a bit more of a liberty to mess around and be a little more speculative with some of that stuff, just because the fact that... Um, 
you know, the market is very healthy at the moment. And we're going to talk about this market rise in a second. But that's that's the big news for today on Tuesday is these big upgrades, the quick upgrades uh, that EA are in with these cards. And I'm a big fan. So shout out to EA Sports for the fast upgrades on these. That's a big GG. And I think we're going to see more cards rising in price um, because of the upgrades coming later on this week. Unless EA throws something crazy at us on the market, which may not be the case of what's going to happen today. But we'll just have to see. Let's talk about the rest of the market. Like we said, a lot of prices are going up. A lot of your Road to the World Cup cards that are in packs from the promo team, those cards are going up as well. And you saw a lot of the losses that happened and a lot of the price drops that happened from the past, basically from Sunday, uh, were kind of, you know, reversed, right? Marquinhos went from the 800K range down to 500Ks. Right now, Marquinhos is back at 680, 700. So a nice rise there. Hyunmin Sun um was you know 700k he is now he went all the way down to like 590 he's back up to 640 660 so a nice rise there and some of your other cards like i bought wynaldum's um at uh, what was it like 62k or 63k this guy is all the way back up to 79,000 coins a really really nice market rise all around so ggs if you bought some stuff like we talked about a couple nights ago at sunday night time frame into yesterday and Monday was a perfect time to get involved with the market. And I just think we're going to continue to see prices slowly rise up because I don't know what's going to make prices really drop today. What What is there to be panicked about right now on this game? We do have a couple leaks for the next upcoming promo. We'll talk about that. But really, my question for today is, is EA going to drop any sort of SBC that would make us panic? And to that, I really don't know if they are. The only thing is there's a lot of upgrade packs that are expiring today. A lot of our big Black Friday SBCs um, that we saw on the weekend, like the 85 plus double, the 81 plus specific uh, league specific and nation specific upgrade packs, the regular 81 plus doubles, they are going away today. And a lot of those other like 84 plus upgrade, the 83 plus player pick, uh, th those are all going away today around content. So I just wonder if EA would refresh any of these. I really hope they re-release the 85 double because this upgrade pack is actually really nuts. Um, I did one of those yesterday and I packed Inform Cancelo and the first one that I did two days ago, I packed Wynaldum. So I'm a fan of these 85 doubles. I hope EA re-released them. But if, especially if you wanted to stack any upgrade packs for, I know some people were looking at these and saying, hey, I can hold those for team of the year or maybe for the next promo as we have a Rashford and a Van Dyke that are leaked already. You know, I think today is your last chance to get in on those because I doubt EA uh, would re-release the 81 plus doubles today. We still have the player picks that are going to be available though. Um, I do believe the 78 plus player pick and the 75 plus World Cup winners player pick are going to still be available until uh, the weekend. So there's still potential to craft those if you want to. Um, and then also today, the mixed campaign player pick is going to be refreshing. So if, that, if that's a gamble SBC that you were interested in, that's going to be some more demand for fodder today. So definitely watch out for that. I also think we might get a team of the week upgrade refresh today as well. EA has been doing this every single week. So that might be a part of our Tuesday content. But I'm not expecting a ton of content today. So just like we saw yesterday... If there is any drops in price before the 6 p.m. content drop, maybe it's on like a World Cup hero card. Some of those were down a little bit yesterday or they weren't up that much, right? I think the next move over the couple of days, if you're just trying to make a quick buck and quick tr uh, trade on the market would be watch some of your more rare cards heading into 6 p.m. content. And if there's any prices that are down, Buy the before content. Take that little bit of extra risk because people are always like, oh my goodness, what's content going to be today? What's What panic is going to happen today? You know, I would just say take that little extra risk this week unless it looks like we have a crazy leak or a crazy pack that's been added to the code. Yes, EA could surprise us at any time and drop like that max 89 hero upgrade again and that would make this game go bananas and there would definitely be some panic selling for that but if there's no leaks or, or no talk about anything like that then i would feel pretty safe about buying before content uh on the days where you see price drops and then selling afterwards when we see the market kind of rebound a little bit so be ready to trade with some fluctuations this week there's really not any great places to invest on the market right now because fodder is sky high 84s are over 5k 85s are 10 86s are 16 
fodder is booming and even 88s and the higher tier fodder is back up a little get a little bit again because i think people just went back out and, and started doing sbcs once again yesterday of course with rewards monday morning late sunday night these 91s were down in the low 50s they are back up now to about 63k your 88s were like 27 they're now at 32 33 so fodder is sky high really no opportunity to invest in these cards right now what we really need is um some supply like supply would be the only thing that would make these card prices go down but again they could even go a little higher today and that's what i've been telling people is hey if you have fodder that you're still waiting to sell list it for lazies i think it could go higher today before content maybe even after content depending on what packs what SBCs they refresh like we talked about that 85 plus upgrade if they were to re-release that SBC again today then I would absolutely think that some of your 85s would continue to go up uh, people have already done a lot of these 85 plus upgrades uh, even though it's repeatable five times I think people would be very willing to do it again with all the cards that are in packs so some of that fodder could even go up further today just keep an eye out for that so it all seems nice fun and dandy right now in this game because of the way the market is going it's a big change from the, like two days ago right when everything was just dumping prices were down like crazy and it's nice to have those signs of life that we talked about in last night's video and it's nice to see that happen now the only part that we are complaining about and it, this is pretty big right we can't gloss over this this, this is pretty legit this is a problem ea released eight more swap tokens right so we are now up to 40 there are 40 total swap tokens if you've done every store pack if you've done every uh objective there are 40 total tokens that could have been claimed on this game the problem is and i'm sure you guys are aware of this ea decided to try to fix their issue in the world cup swaps mode by limiting us to making only 10 matches per hour you're only able to play 10 matches per hour of World Cup swaps. It refreshes every hour, which is still okay. But what I think EA is trying to do here is to combat the gameplay ban that people were getting because of the Golden Goal mode. Somehow EA's game registers this first two Golden Goal mode as like a rage quit loss every time you lose. So if you lose more than a couple of games or you know if it's more than a handful of games every hour or every couple hours, you'll get a gameplay soft ban. A lot of people have had this issue, right? I don't really know how to get rid of it. You just kind of have to, to wait um, until it goes away. This is EA's attempt at stopping this. And really what the problem with this is, is it makes this mode more sweaty because people feel like, you know, not everybody can go on FIFA every single hour and play their 10 games to get their swap tokens and swaps worked for. So that's the problem with this, right? EA is trying to fix something that is broken on their end without fixing the actual problem. They're just trying to put a bandaid over top of it and say, hey, this might work, right? Well, it's still a problem because it makes this mode more sweaty. People feel like they have to try hard to get their games in on the limited amount of time that they have to play. And yeah, now just people don't like being limited, right? Especially when we have to play a lot of games to get these cards, like right here, like six matches. Let's say it takes you 10 matches uh, for every single one of these. That's 80 matches right here for each of these swap tokens and upgrades. Now I know we're at all different skill levels in the, in the game and stuff. So that's besides the point because it's going to take people way more or, or less depending on where you're at. But that's a big complaint right now in this game. And that does hurt a lot. Uh, that we have to put that extra time in and have to worry about it a bit more and it just makes the mode more sweaty. But with 40 tokens being available, the Patrick Vera and the biggest reward out of this group is finally claimable. And same thing with the FIFA World Cup icon player pick. I've seen people opening these, some Ws, some else so now every single swaps reward is available there's still more tokens to drop of course as we expect to at least see 50 maybe 60 the since there's 60 in concepts we still don't know what's going on with that uh but i'm get ever getting ever so close to attaining the 84 times 60 which personally i know we have a couple leaked cards and i want to take a look at this right now and show you the two leaked cards this one was posted yesterday marcus rashford world cup stories player that's expected so those are the, the legit stats that we should see on this card. Very nice upgrade there for him uh, for that Rashford card. Hopefully, of course, left wing, left mid striker positions like his base gold. And then we do have the VVD that was leaked on the weekend. So um, that's interesting. We maybe will see some more leaks for these players today. But it's got people thinking, hey, should I save my fodder packs if I'm going to open those uh, for the next promo? Now, personally, 
I'm going to open them because A, I need to do Messi. Messi's expiring soon. And B, there's a best of team of the week. There's a icons in packs. There's a rather large promo team in packs right now. I'm going for it. So that's why I'm looking at all what's in packs right now. I'd rather take the risk and even seeing how mid some of these 84 times 20s have been. I'm still going to go for it because of the potential that is there. And also because the SBC that I need that fodder from to craft only has three days remaining. So that's why I'm going to open the fodder packs ASAP. So I'm working on those games as fast as I can. But that's kind of what's going on in this game right now. Again, the upgrades today are very nice. Shout out to EA for putting out those upgrades as fast as they did. We're going to have to keep a close eye on these cards on the game today and how their prices fluctuate and keep a close eye on the PTGs because it looks like those cards are just going to keep sliding upwards with how this market is headed at the moment now if there's any surprises of course we'll be covering it live on street today twitch.tv slash foot account check that link below but if you enjoyed today's video have a great tuesday smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account i'll catch you guys later peace out